time has come to wrap up the Applied Orchestration course. Here I'd like to give a summary of the course and also some exercises and a few sort of important points. First thing to think about after this course is what is good orchestration? Well, it's hard to do really bad orchestration provided it's playable. That's because the normal registers and technique of orchestral instruments are designed for euphony. However, to move beyond mediocre orchestration to really good orchestration is another matter altogether and requires a lot of craftsmanship. Here are the basic criteria for good orchestration. Make the music as easy as possible to play because you don't want to waste rehearsal time. Use the simplest means available to create the desired effect, again, just to save rehearsal time. Every element in the ensemble should contribute something individual to the whole. Obviously, the second flute in a tutti won't be contributing as much as the trumpet, but it should nonetheless have something at least moderately interesting. Richard Strauss said about Wagner that this encourages the spiritual participation of the players. Next, every element should be audible, even if it's subtle. You should use the whole ensemble at some point in the piece. Aim for clarity of musical planes of tone, like foreground, background, and so on. Don't let them get mixed up with each other. The orchestration should make formal sense. Changes of orchestration should happen at appropriate places with appropriate degrees of contrast. Ensure continuity of sound most of the time. The orchestration should enhance the phrasing of accents or highlighting special moments in the harmony and so on. Aim at richness. Most of the time there will be multiple planes of tone rather than just lots of unison doubling. Aim to have enough variety and freshness of color to maintain interest. And remember the importance and efficiency of contrast effects. For example, if you haven't used the strings for a while, their entry will be much more impressive than if they'd been playing all along. And finally, aim for strong character. Use everything available to create the effect desired. We talked at one point about having a glossary of characters. This is the time to start using it. On the other side, here are some signs of poor orchestration. If the overall effect is feeble, like holes in loud passages, or not using all the resources to the full, the result won't be convincing. Bad orchestration fatigues the ear, like, for example, with too much use of extreme registers, or very distinctive colors, and lack of blend in harmonic blocks. Grayness, often a result of too much unison doubling. The orchestration may be too heavy, often because of too much doubling or because the low register is overloaded. Orchestration is dry all the time is fatiguing. Sometimes dry can be useful, but sometimes you need some sustained sound. It's very rare you're going to want 10 minutes of music with no sustained sound. Another common defect is confusion. In other words, the planes of tone are poorly distinguished or changes occur at arbitrary places. And again, finally, if the orchestration has no clear character, it usually means that somehow it's contradicting itself, suggesting unclear intentions. I've included in the notes common error codes. These are errors that came up so often that it was worth making abbreviations for them so I didn't have to keep rewriting the same things in detail. After that, there's an index of the individual lessons in this Applied Orchestration course with exercises after those for which it's pertinent. Then there's some extra exercises and a couple of appendices, melodies and sketches mainly, along with model examples. And finally, there's a, an example of sketching realized in four or five different ways. You should compare and criticize the different examples. Some are much better than others. When something isn't satisfactory, try to be able to be specific about what the problem is. There's a link below to the PDF with the exercises. I hope you've enjoyed the course and it's been useful to you.